What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. G get off my car, you little hacker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, Perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat, just every other aspect of your whole life. Take it! 
We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. Go first. Uh-uh, the king got caught. 
combat advantage. He goes first. Wait, wait, don't skip your turn. You can't keep the moors down. Our king shrugged off your puny blows. You have no chance against all of us. It's fine, they're the bad guys. Oh yes, go King! where it's gonna hit you.
he defeated the dragon. No freaking way. That kid's amazing. Maybe there's a way in through the garage, my lord. If there's a way in through the garage, the king will find it. Yes, only the king can find the secret way in through the garage. If, I mean, if there is one. Yes, only the king with his infinite wisdom and strength can get past this impassable barrier. Go ahead, your highness. Use your unparalleled intellect to figure out a way in. Kuba, keep us through here, my lord. Well, King Newsbag is searching still for Warrior. Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realm. Holy fuck, he's amazing. I thought the king was going to do a sweet jump, but then he just did that. You're dead. Bard, what happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies, you shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens. Release the Bard or you'll have the king to deal with. The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right, and if you don't, uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the hundred dollar reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins, there's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert. Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. We could all go to my house and sit around, staring dejected. I'm bummed. I was gonna take up a trade, learn how to fletch arrows. Wanna go play Star Trek? I'd Spock. Oh, hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Eric and his friends are so imaginative. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. 
officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Fuck. You. Mom. Maybe we should go to Reasons and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito, away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer? It'll blow up the fucking galaxy! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. <sighs> all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. We touch it again and we all fucking die. Fucking stop! You seriously can't find the Stephernity device? That's our holding cell for supervillains. Why would we keep a Stephernity device in there? Those costumes are tailored to the Kuhn's unique body specs. You have to be pretty buff to fit them. Hey, I told you not to fuck with that! Took long enough. Is the furnace device active? You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language?
All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. Brutalist. Speedster. Brutalist. Blaster. Brutalist. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. is also an important trait for superheroes. Brutalist. A brutalist, like The Thing, or a really pissed off Batman. A blaster with range powers like Cyclops. This is kind of a big moment in your superhero. A brutalist, all bronze, no brains. A good choice for you. really pissed off Batman. Why don't you pick something like a blaster with rage powers like Cyclops? Okay, douchebag, but now we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. Over there, the mirror. Just, okay, just walk up. No, not there. Not, God damn it. You looked hey. in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time, you called upon your blaster powers. As a blazing blaster hero, you began to overheat as the fire in your belly ignited. You wasted no time delivering sick burns into the villains before you. Flames clear. The intruders realize what they were up against. Shit, this little flamer means business! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with fire? The intruders moved in to attack! You've left us no choice, kid. Ha, ha, ha! With the enemies closing in, you gave yourself some space by knocking your foes back! The intruders wouldn't take getting pushed around lightly. Hey, you can't push us around like that. <laughs> Little did they know, they set themselves up for destruction. So much range. I'll just get out of the way. His comrade fallen. The extra ugly one closed in. Oh, 
Not so hot now, you little flamer. Yeah, we showed him. You were gravely injured, but the intruder's blows only awakened the fires that burned within you. You swallowed the pain and unleashed your ultimate attack. So you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Instagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. <laughs>